now we're going. We're here with Coach Thad Wells after Colton Preps. Impressive 39 to 18 victory over Bible Baptist. And Coach, uh, first and foremost, let's talk playoffs. This is uh, this does a lot for you. Uh, you needed to win this game. And uh, to, what what does this do for you going into the postseason? We talked to the boys since Monday of this week saying it's it's playoffs now for us. It's, you know, we have that win or go home attitude. If we'd have lost this game, there were still the numbers we could have made it in. Uh, but but winning this game just sets us up. Now there's still a chance though that if we don't get a win next week, we're out. So the boys know that that if you want to just take care of business yourself, let's win and then then we we control our own destiny. And that's what our what our take is right now. Coach, uh, second week in a row here. Uh, this this week it was a little a lot more effective. But uh, where where have the Air Hawks gone? Uh, the 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 ground and pound is working uh, really well. Well. It's a couple. Th I mean, we like I've, I've talked to other people this week. We've had it in since day one. It's just it was just kind of our secondary package of things go wrong and and that, and that first series they kind of they changed up their defense from what we saw on film um, and we knew we had man to man so we just decided to see if we can't outflank them with our toss and and run Brian there up the middle and it just worked so we just stuck with it until we, we and then we came back to spread and got that touchdown before the half and then we'll see that we're we're, we're spread and we're also. Um, we'll do this, uh, our what we call diamond. I mean, it's, well, for us, anyways. Nick Paget on the uh, toss sweep, getting outside, getting some block and turning it up. Brian, a lot of times on that counter back inside, getting six, seven, eight yards. Uh, <laughs> real, real great effort by those guys and your offensive line tonight. Well, I'm proud of definitely. I mean, having Will Carter, you know, such a great person, great athlete, out on offense. We just decided to let's just use him on defense as much as we can this week. Um, Nick stepped up, ran the ball very effectively in our line. We challenged the line knowing that, you know, we made some changes on the line. Um, not necessarily with people, but they stepped up. They played hard. I thought first time we played four quarters of, you know, continue to pound. And um, our, line, our line enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, well, any lineman's going to enjoy a, a, a run-based offense. That way they, they don't have to think so much as they just get to hit people. Uh, Coach, uh, there early on, it seemed like they kind of had you had you rattle a little bit. And the past few weeks, you hadn't been able to overcome that. What, what was the difference tonight? Well, uh, we saw, and you know, I, it's, I guess this is very specific, but we uh, I was sitting down, I guess Sunday or Saturday, Sunday night, and watched um, uh, Lone Survivor for like the second or third time. <laughs> and uh, so I started doing research on Marcus Luttrell and the guy that the movie was after, and. Um, we talked about it Monday, we showed them interviews. Wednesday, we showed them interviews from, and we just talked about how if these guys can fight for us and, and willing to give their lives for us, we can play four quarters of football. That's not above what we're capable of doing. So that was our message. And we went back to what they love to say, no surrender. And uh, we just, we, we said no matter what, we're not out of the fight, just, just as those guys would have said. Warhawks not out of the fight after another win here at Warhawk Field, closing out their Regular season, last home game, 39-18 over Bobble Baptist. Coach Wells, thank you.